it's not what you think. If you are studying math and you're struggling and you think that maybe it's just you don't have the ability, chances are it's not what you think. There are different types of intelligence in the world. Some people are naturally better at learning mathematics. Some people are naturally better at public speaking. And some people are good with their hands. We all have different skill sets and we all have different backgrounds. And I think a big part of life is developing as a person and trying to be the best version of yourself. So if you're watching this video and you're taking a math class and you're just not doing well, you're failing, maybe your classmates are doing better than you and you're studying just as hard. I have seen it. I have taught hundreds of college level classes and I have had so many students over the years. I have seen people who fail and have terrible backgrounds rise from the ashes like a phoenix and come back and crush it. It's not just about IQ. It's about how you approach mathematics. And this is true for everything in life. It's how you approach it. It's all about the actions that you take towards your goals. So in this video, I'm actually gonna give you three things that you can do. These are things that you're probably not doing that can help you learn mathematics quite well. And there's some really good news. You don't actually have to do all three things. I mean, I want you to and you should, but honestly, if you can do just one of these things, that's going to change your mathematics career life forever. And, and this applies to everything, not just math. Right? You can use this advice for physics, for engineering, for computer science. Maybe you're trying to learn Python or C. This works for anything. It even works for you know, exercising and Anything, anything you want to learn or do in life, you can use these techniques. They apply to everything because it's about how you approach it, right? It's about how you approach it. The first thing you should try to do and you should try to develop as a person, and this can help you again with anything, this is probably one of the most powerful things, is to develop what I like to call an action mindset. So let's just say that it's Monday and you go to class and then you have a test on Wednesday and you haven't even started the homework. That's stressful, right? That causes anxiety, that makes you feel bad. And so that puts you in a very negative mental place. The only way to get out of that negative mental place is to take action and actually study. And so you're kind of stuck in this place where you're thinking, ah, oh, I really have to study, but I don't want to. And the reasons could be multiple reasons. You might be tired. You might have other responsibilities. You might tell yourself that you don't have time because you have other things to do. And you might think that you won't be able to learn it because it's too hard. You need to somehow push all those thoughts out of your mind and develop what's called an action mindset. Just do it now, do it now, right? Just tell yourself to get it done. And when you realize that once you get it done, that, that stress goes away, that kind of creates a cycle. So the next time you have those feelings, you can tell yourself, oh, I'm having this feeling where I really feel like I need to go do my homework on implicit differentiation for calculus. And I know it's hard, but I need to get it done and I'm halfway through, but I don't want to do it. But I know that if I do it, I won't be stressed. So building that skill, it's not something that you can build right away. You might be able to build it right away after you watch this video, maybe you can go do some math, but to continually do it takes practice. It's, it's like anything in life, right? If you're trying to get good at something, like math, you actually have to do math. So if you're trying to get good at getting yourself to do math, you have to practice that skill. You have to practice developing that action mindset. So when you're sitting there at your computer, you know, and you're watching YouTube videos or Instagram or you're reading X or whatever platforms you use, 
and you know you have to study and you're stressed, tell yourself, hey, wait a minute, I need to break this cycle and get to work because once I get to work, that stress is gone and you can do the math. And that's the reality of it. And once you do math, you'll learn math, right? That, that's, you know, to learn math, you have to do mathematics. It's, it's simple. There, there's no secret to that part. You just have to sit down and do it. I mean, there's techniques you can use, but you actually have to sit down and do it. That's the most important step. Developing that, that action mindset. I'm gonna go to the next topic now, but I just wanna mention this. I, I wrote an entire book entire book on this first reason. It's called Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. And I really do believe that these are superpowers and they will change your life. They will help you develop what I like to call an action mindset. They get you to do things, to accomplish your goals, whatever they are in the world. It doesn't matter, okay? Action, action, action. So develop that mindset towards mathematics and you will go far, my friend. You will go very far. Nothing can stop you. You will become invincible. The problem with developing the action mindset is like anything else, right? It takes practice, it takes time, but you can start right away, right? It's not like you have to go through a whole process. You know, you can just jump into it. The second thing you can do to learn math, and this is one that could be beneficial to you is to teach others. So a lot of people, when they look at their professors and they look at teachers, whether they be high school teachers or college teachers, they look at them like they're like gods. I mean, I remember when I was a student, I would look at my professors and I would think, wow, they, they are so smart. I had this professor for cryptography. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. The man was a genius. This was this was pre-Bitcoin, and we went through the entire book. I mean, just absolutely brilliant man. I used to always think, like, how does this guy know so much? You know, how does he know so much knowledge? And I thought, I will never be able to, to know so much. The secret is, he teaches it, right? When you teach mathematics, you learn mathematics. When I got out of grad school, I started teaching, and I think... I think my second or third, my second semester, I started teaching calculus. I got really lucky. They gave me a calculus class. I loved it. And after a couple semesters of teaching calculus, I realized something. My Calc 1 actually got better, even though I already had, you know, a lot of college <laughs> degrees, right? So, but I was able to get better at a basic math class by teaching it. Even my college algebra skills got better. You know, those annoying word problems. I became really good at them. All that stuff from calculus two that I never understood, the disc and the shell method. As a teacher, I finally understood it. I was finally able to derive the formula you know, from scratch on the board, no problem. And that's how you become from teaching, right? You can, you can walk into a classroom and you can derive the derivative, talk about the definition of a limit. I mean, eventually you can wing the whole class. You don't even need notes. You just need like a little outline. I actually still have my notes from the very first class I taught. In fact, all of my notes, this is, this is gonna sound terrible, all of my college level teaching notes are my original notes from the very first time I taught the class. And I, I just basically use it as an outline, right? As an outline. And through experience, you kind of learn what people need to know, and where their difficulties are, where people struggle. You learn that. It's like anything else in life. It's practice, right? The more you do it, the better you get at it. And how do you do it? Building that action mindset. So teaching, teaching is a beautiful thing. So how can you teach if you're a student? This is something that I should have done more as a student. You know, you could become a tutor. I did that for about six weeks as an undergrad. You can go to study groups. I didn't do that enough. That was a mistake. Don't make the same mistakes I made, right? Teach your friends. And if you have the mindset that you know, well, I don't want to help them because they'll get better grades. Don't, don't have that mindset. Worry about yourself. Worry about your success and your learning and your knowledge. Other people, you know, they have their problems. Everyone has their own world. Everyone has their own problems, their own dreams, their own goals. So focus on learning and focus on learning, right? Don't, don't, 
Don't worry about what other people are learning. If someone seems better than you, use that as inspiration to rise to their level. So that's the, that's the second thing you can do is, is teach. And the last thing, the last thing is build a routine. So building a routine is basically saying every day you're going to do the same thing, right, at a, at a particular time, whatever it is, right? So there's all kinds of routines. People build workout routines, people build study routines, and there's all kinds of ways to structure your routine. And it's really fun to create routines because we feel like when we create a routine, we have a plan. And what does that plan do? It takes the stress off of our inaction, right? When you make a plan, you're not taking action. You're just planning to take action, and so it removes that stress. So that's why people love routines. That's why there's so many videos on routines and books that talk about routines. Routines work. Routines work, but you actually have to follow them. And they have to be, they have to be reasonable. They have to be routines that work for you. Right? P people have different personalities. Some, people's are plan some people are planners, and, and some are not. And so through practice and time, and just through living life, you will learn what type of routine works best for you. But I'm gonna give you one that works best for me, okay? And this, this might not be the best routine for you, but it works well for me, and I do think it works well for most people. And I call it morning power, it's the morning routine, where every morning you get up, you, you do something, whether exercise or read, and then you just do that every day, right? You get up, you do some exercise, you do a little reading, do a little math, every day. It doesn't have to be super rigorous, it's just, Every day before you start your day, you're doing something productive towards learning math or getting in shape or reaching your goals. Maybe you want to learn programming. So every day in the morning, you do a little bit. It doesn't have to be two hours. It doesn't have to be three hours. I'm just saying do it every day. And what happens is when you have these little micro wins every morning, you get better at it because you get better through doing, right? It's like building that action mindset. The, the more you do it, the more you're able to get yourself to do things that you need to do and get them done right away, the better you are at building that sense of urgency and acting on it, the better you get at it. It's the same thing with the routine. The better, the more you do it, right? The more you do it, the better you get at doing it repeatedly. And routines are beautiful because if you can keep them up for a couple of weeks, you will get a lot better. I made a video a while ago. It was called, It Only Takes Two Weeks. And that video I talked about how, you know, if you're in a classroom with other students, it only takes two weeks to catch up to pretty much everyone else. I mean, it, it, or even less, right, really. Because think about it. If you're in a class, you were put there. Some, some test, some institution, something outside of your control said, hey, this person belongs in this class. Let's put them in there. So you're in that class because that's where society put you. That's where the educational institution put you. So technically, in the eyes of, edu of the educational system, you are equal. You're all equal. All 30 students or 100 students are equal. So sure, you should be able to rise above and beat everyone else. Why not? And building a routine is a great way to do that, right? Because most people don't have, I don't want to say people are lazy because I don't think People are lazy. I don't believe that. Even if you think you're lazy, I, I don't think you are. I just think it's just a lack of knowledge. I just think that people just don't know. I don't, I don't think it's their fault. You know, Pe people aren't lazy. People need hope. People have dreams. It's just a lot of times they don't pursue them because they think they'll fail. So people are not lazy. They are not. Anyways, kind of a random video, but I wanted to make this because you know, I've had a lot of students, I'm thinking of some now, uh, who were just not good at math. You know, they'd come into my classes and it's like, oh yeah, I failed college algebra, it's my second time taking it. And like they, you know, they take my test and you know, they get a B. I'm like, oh, you did really good, you failed college. I mean, I'm just always shocked by how some people are able to rise above, you know, after being in such bad situations. Or even students who take my classes and you know failed tests, they, they somehow sometimes they just come back. It's and many times, more times than not, 
I've honestly been surprised and impressed, extremely impressed by the level of work. You know, it's just amazing. And honestly, I'll end it with this, but to me, to me, the best students are not the smartest students, but the ones that are able to rise above. Rise above, right? Get better at it. So those are three things. Um, I wrote them down here. Build an action mindset, teach others, and build a routine. Any of those things, right? Even just one is fairly life-changing. If you can actually do one of them, the action mindset is extremely powerful. That, that's, that's, I think, that's the most powerful one, right? Because if you have an action mindset, you can maintain your routine because you're able to take action. <laughs> so you can decide to teach others because you're able to, to take action. You're invincible, right? You can do anything in the world if you're able to develop that skill, right? That's why I wrote a whole book on it, right? Because it is the most powerful thing in the world. It's the only thing you can control, right? It's the only thing is your actions. You, you can hope things work out, which is great. It's good to have hope, but your actions are the only thing you can control. So if you're struggling with math, stop watching this video now or when it's done and take action. Get to work, get to work. Oh, if you're still watching, I do have courses. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to, to have courses. And if you get them, use the links from my website, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. Also on that website, you can ask me questions. You know, you, there's, a, there's a contact page and just type it in and you can send questions. You don't have to put your real name. You don't have to put your email address or anything like that. So yeah, you can ask me questions. That's pretty cool. Oh, I have books. I have books. I have this one again, Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. And then I've got... I've got more books than these, but I need to check them. These have been checked. These should be correct. Calculus Alpha, it's a book on limits. This is very easy books. And then a super, super easy, two super easy college algebra books. I'll leave all the links in the description. They're all on Amazon. You can just search for them on Amazon. Um, but this is the best one. This is absolutely the best one, right? Because this one will get you to, to do anything you need to do in life, you know? So it's not your IQ, okay? It's not your IQ. It's not your IQ. It's just, you need to learn to approach it the right way. And it's just a skill. It's just a skill like anything else in life. Taking action is a skill. Following a routine is a skill. Getting yourself to do math is a skill. Because once you do the math, you're gonna learn. You'll get stuck, but you know, at least you're trying. And by the way, it's, I know it's a long video, but if you sit down to do math, I should make another video on this, and, and you get stuck, okay? and you can't figure out the problem, and it takes you half an hour and you do it, it's not a wasted session. I mean, sure, it could have been more effective, but at least you got yourself to sit down and do it, and you tried, right? And that's, that's the key point. Always try. Anyways, as always, good luck to you, my friends.